Today we're going to show you one of the methods I use to attach the face frame to the box. So what do we just do? Just some, some glue and a pin nail? So we're going to use talking? liquid nail, put it in the dados, and then just a pin nail to hold it while that liquid nail sets. Sometimes you have cabinets on each side and you can screw the face frames together, basically how you would normally install a cabinet. And it'll hold that face frame until the nail's set. But if you have an end panel that's open and you can't really attach it to anything, a little pin nail through the back just to hold the frame to the box. So from the inside to the kind of toe nail yeah. in through the face frame. You can frame. do it from the outside, but then you have a nail hole that you have to fill. And okay. it's better to just do it from the inside because you'll never see it. Yep. Or we could actually tape it to the end panel. Yeah, it's clamp so it. Whichever way you can get something to hold it there for a bit. Exactly. So naturally, we're sitting on the bench here today, so we're making it look a little easier than it is. But technically, the cabinet would be installed and we'd be working on this. But honestly, this is for illustration purposes, right? Honestly, it's easier to install them when they're installed. When they're installed on the wall. It's just right in your face. You put it up there and then... It's in your good to go clamp it off and you're good right. yeah so okay sounds we'll good let's go any liquid nail will work or contact adhesive you kind of want to stay away from just wood glue because this is a painted dado I mean, it won't attach so it's already sealed so yeah. it's not going to attach great so. so you want some sort of contact adhesive i use the paneling because it doesn't bleed through which won't be an issue because this is sealed but just extra precaution I and mean, it holds just as good as any other liquid nail it's good to have a rag on hand just because this stuff can get messy so basically i'll just run a nice bead right in the middle of that data. So kind of a small bead, don't go over, you know, a little too crazy. I had one guy here that was actually fixing something for us on the job site and he exploded one of those tubes all over the inside of the house. It took him like three hours to actually <laughs> clean it up. So be careful when you're opening the tubes. They're messy. Yeah, don't point it towards finished goods because sometimes they can explode a little bit. So kind of being careful with the bead. You don't want a bunch oozing out all over the place. And I keep it light towards the ends just for bleed yeah. out. I mean, you'll just wipe it. If it does okay. bleed out, it's not a big deal. Saving yourself extra cleanup is always ideal. Yeah. Right. It's kind of one of the tricks you learn along the way is that you just try to do things a little more clean and detailed so you're not making a massive Spending mess. hours just grinding right. up. So we've got that on there, little beads, so you can see that. Now we're just going to rotate it over and set it on the frame. So press it down on there. Again, whichever method you use for holding it is entirely up to you. Sometimes a little tape on the inside, but a quick little brad is quick and simple. Yeah, so when you shoot the brad, you wanna shoot it in this corner. It's gonna go through the panel and then into the side. We're using three quarter inch, 23 gauge brad nails. Nothing big that'll split it, but just hold it. So yeah, just hit it kind of right in that corner. We'll go through the side panel and then into the face frame. So we're kind of toe nailing it. Yeah. You don't got to go crazy here. You're just putting a couple on there just to hold it in place while exactly. the glue sets. Okay. Honestly, probably to each side, but if this is has a cabinet on one side that's it's connected to, just the side that's going to have... That's floating. Yeah. Okay. All right, gotcha. So right in that corner. Bam. Yeah, just make sure you're pushing down a little bit. Not going anywhere. You want to keep it at that 45 if you kind of tilt it up. It is a three-quarter inch, so it won't blow out, but to avoid it, just yeah, you keep it at a nice angle. <laughs> Sometimes the nails can go a little rogue on you. Keep your fingers out of the way just in case. Yep. Bam. You got to love the battery-operated pin nailers nowadays. I changed everything to battery because... It's just so much easier. You don't yeah. have all the cords and stuff. That And the cords mess like they go across your cabinets and can scratch it, so that's a nice tool to use. Yeah, So I ran around with a compressor for six years. The first thing you do, you walk into a house, you start up a loud compressor. It's Just make a ruckus. You run cords everywhere. Cords everywhere, uh, yeah. Uh, way the battery better. stuff's way better. Uh, I wish that was around when I was doing that yeah. stuff full time. Now we are set. Base frame is installed. Again, if it's on the wall, same process. No real difference other than you'd screw it into the cabinet next, being careful. We've shown that video a couple of times of how to screw them yeah. together and, and not crack the frames. You don't want to cause yourself more more damage. Exactly. Right. So then you're swapping the face frame out again. Okay. So you can see we put a gray face frame on uh, this modern slate box just so you could see it from an illustration standpoint. And next we're going to show how to skin it, and we're actually going to put a white skin on it. So we're going to have three different colors on this cabinet <laughs> just for fun. All right. <laughs> That's how you do it.